Vanguard is driving me crazy right now because they're pulling in money faster than any other financial house in the world. They're the second largest financial house in the world now. They're growing faster than anybody else. And last year, they brought in more money than I think every other financial house in the world. So they're tone deaf right now. And their customer service has significantly deteriorated at Vanguard. And their attitude needs an adjustment. So yeah, Vanguard is something that people have a love-hate relationship with right now. And some people have more hate than love towards Vanguard. So that leaves the other two major discounters, Schwab and Fidelity. And I think both of them are much more customer-oriented, much more service-oriented than Vanguard is right now. Vanguard, to me, is the, um, the pizza rule. It was said by a guy named uh, Bethune, who used to run Continental Airlines. He said, you can always make a pizza cheap enough that no one will ever want to buy it. And I kind of have this feeling right now that Vanguard is making itself that pizza, <laughs> making the ingredients more and more undesirable and more and more inedible. And they're a very inward organization. They're in a semi-rural area of Pennsylvania. Their campus is a very insular campus. And I feel like there's too much groupthink at Vanguard right now. So Brent, uh, I say this with all the love in the world because I love Vanguard. I love what they do. Uh, but I'm a little sore at Vanguard right now for failing to really respect its customers. It's a co-op. It's kind of like a credit union. And they are dissing their own owners. Do you think you're just going to leave it up to him whether he should switch? Yeah, I'm not going to tell him to switch. I just I, I want to acknowledge mm -hmm. that Vanguard has an attitude problem right now. And I don't know what it will take. Uh, I guess when people stop putting money in there, they'll say, right. oh, what happened? Mm -hmm. What happened? We, I mean, we own the world. And now all of a sudden, people don't love us so much. Wonder why that happened. Maybe we should do a focus group. Oh, we don't answer your calls? That made you unhappy? <laughs> we don't allow you to do this on the app? That made you unhappy? By the way, their app, I hate to say this, their app is so bad that it looks like something that a really bright third grader <laughs> did as an elementary school project. It is so lame. So yes, there are real problems at this really great organization and they need to address them.